Oh, here we go. Back into Dragon Slayer 2. Also known as Xanadu. Ooh, that's loud. Um, so what happened last time? I think I made it into level 4. Um, I needed a lot of keys, so I went back and gathered... I think I have about 10 keys now. However, I think where I ended up, my health was a bit low, and I was sort of on the way back to level one. Level two, I left behind some towers. So, I want to go through them. In particular, the middle castle. Okay, where am I? This looks like level four. Did I make it to level five or is this back to level three? Oh, I see. Okay, so this was the extra castle in level three. Oh, right. So I fought the, the, uh, the giant. Okay, so I can go there now. Okay, I have to remember. Wow, okay, so... I didn't know these teleported. <laughs> we're already, uh... We're already dead here. Okay, so, got a lot left to do on level four. Uh, what have I, there's my reset button. Current status satiated, that's good. That's a good way to feel. So yeah, I've, it seems I've unlocked the way to level five. I found a crown. Oh, tomatoes satiated? satiated? Maybe. Um, so where was I going here? Okay, so I've got these yokels giving me a hard time here. Um, I'm trying to remember the way out of this area. But I haven't been here much. Um, as I recall, the Degmitter magic was a lot more useful on a lot of the enemies in here. Okay, so that's an interesting door. I wonder how I come out of there. Or go into there. It's surrounded on all sides, so I can't go up. So those, those checkerboard blocks turned out to be unbreakable blocks. It's a Muna. Okay, I haven't really... Can I... Why are they so... Why are they just sitting there? <laughs> Uh, I killed one of these before, and they dropped a poison, according to my notes. Should really be using lightning on these. Okay, so... Check. Our karma's not going up. Ah, oh, key. Ooh, that's really good. Why does it seem like my ability to open treasure chests has slowed down? Okay, I didn't gain any karma. I gained a key. Now that's really good. Keys are getting very precious. Uh, 
Um, okay, so... Oh, that looks like the way out there. So it's one level up. Oh, these ones are moving. Actually, hang on. I want to use my thunder. Because I want to level it up. Because I need a, a good, powerful, controllable attack spell rather than just the uh, area of attack area of effect one, whatever, the deg one, whatever deg means. Okay, so I should probably just go give a tap on the other one. Maybe I'll open these treasure chests first. Okay, I gotta be careful. It was a red potion. That's good too. Uh, how are we doing for food? 20,000 food. Okay, so I need to get up and into there. But how? And for the rest of our lives. Um. I don't see a way up there. Oh, maybe up this ladder. It's probably up here. See, that door is locked, but... And then this is like a non-door. Um, if I could get in there, there might be a teleport in there. I never know. That's that's something that bothers me a lot. But not enough to try it yet. Okay, okay. This is the way up. So that's the tower I haven't investigated yet. Finally on our way back to level 3. So, level 3 I think was totally cleared out. Now, level two. This is the other level two. Wait, so there's like three ways to enter level two. That's interesting. I want to use the bottom way here. So this floor is pretty empty now. I think I left a snake up at the top just in case I fall into that little pit up there. I don't want to have to reset. Okay. So, I had a few things uh, to check into on level two. We have this door. Um, I'm going to need to use a couple of Maddox to get in there. get there from this side. Oh, right, it's below the weapon shop, so I actually need a key as well. How many keys? I've got 11 keys. Um, hang on, how many Maddox do I have? Do I have enough that this is worth sparing? I never know. If you get karma from chameleons, you'll be upset. I don't know if there are any chameleons in this game. I haven't seen any yet. Um, I have nine Maddox. I think I can probably spare three for this. Okay. There goes one. That didn't work. Um... Oh, 
This is like some load runner stuff. I can, I can dig down. So if I'm holding down when I use it, it goes down. Okay. Um, let's see where this goes. I bet it goes to the third floor drop door, but... What? Why did it come here? Okay, so this is back on level three. I don't want to be here. Oh, these stupid ghosts. These are the karma ghosts. I can't touch them. Okay, I've been in this tower, yeah. Let's see what my notes say. Low castle. I put a check mark next to that, so I think... Uh, Why can't they just be automatic? I didn't get that at first. Automatics. That's good. I like it. Tomato wouldn't attack you. He'd get bad karma from it. Um, so I think I can... Yeah, the way out is just uh, sort of around here. Sort of. Wow, we, we wasted like 4,000 food <laughs> on this adventure. Okay, so that was a waste of three Maddox. I'll never do that again. Unless I forget. Um... Where am I? Oh, I'm on level two. Okay. So, let's check my notes again. There's two towers. There's a mid tower and a mid castle. The mid castle is like the most um, unfinished. That's it over there, just to the right. So the question is how to get there. Oh, right, the stupid teleport. <laughs> I forgot about this level. No, now I'm on the bottom. This this stage has been the hardest stage to, like, move around in. Um, I don't think I want to go this way. Maybe I do this. I think I'm too low. Yeah, I'm at the bottom again. I want to be down here. I want to be... Okay, this feels... like a productive way to go, potentially. Okay, there's the top castle. Ha! Huh. I think... Is this where I want to go? Oh no, it teleported me! You jerk. So, where did I go from here? I went up a ladder. Not that ladder. Oh no, not the assassin bags. Get away from me. Please get away from me. Okay, so I went up here, but then I went around, and then I went up here, and then where? It looked like I was getting to where I wanted to go, but then I got tricked into going into the... Yeah, don't go under there. Don't... No! I just lost it. Again. Now I don't know where I am.
That was not worth the 12 gold. Um, oh, okay, here's a tower. So let's try this first. Um, so I left behind a poison here. That might be all I left, but... So let's see if I can't get around to that door and come out the other side. So I found a boss on, on level 1 and level 3, which is why I'm really curious about this level. Oh, okay. I can get through that door. Um, I feel this is a big drain of food and a loss of a lamp. I've got a lot of lamps, though. So I went up last time. What's down? Oh. Okay. Oh, I needed a key too. It's just a demon ring. They're not... See, the problem with the demon's ring is like... So it's sort of a get out of jail free card for a single battle. And it's like any battle... You know what? I'm gonna... Oops. I wonder what key I accidentally pressed. I'm gonna reset that. Um... Because I don't, I don't need the demon... Like, it, it lets you bypass a battle, right? Um, like, it lets you... damage enemies and they can't damage you. That's basically what you get from that. Okay, there's the, the place I want to go. Please don't teleport. The scorpion's so non-threatening here. Now, um, that's the thing, like, any battle that I could skip, I could probably just come back to later. So I don't want this poison at this stage. So that wasn't entirely a waste, because I got some experience, but... Now, this place, uh, I definitely left some poison behind. I think I, like, ended up with a bunch of rooms where... Um, there was, there was poison I didn't want to grab, so, or there were enemies that were too tough. Either or. Because I've got some notes about, like, multiple things I left behind here. So maybe there isn't a boss on, on level two, because I think it would have been in the top castle if any, anywhere, and I think I went everywhere in that one. Okay, so there's a glove. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to check my inventory. <laughs> well, I was dumb. You figured out a reason not to always do MSX... What's MSX Turbo R? 
And why would you want to use it or always not use it or I don't even know what the question is. Like, I use OpenMSX in CBIOS MSX2 Plus mode by default, because that's its default setting. Okay, so this was just a glove and a demon ring and a poison. It would cost me a key to get. That was the last model of MSX? Oh, okay. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Just some poison. I might need later. So that'll be a reset as well. So I'm going to consider level two cleared out. Um... So, let's go back to level 3. Um, I do not know the way, though. Like, I know the teleport to level 3 is in a horizontal passage like this, but in the place where I see it, it, uh... Oh, there we go. Okay. I still don't know how that works. Like, sometimes you can get in a loop and it's not part of the loop. Um, so, I think there was a castle on level 3 here. Somewhere in the middle that I didn't really clear it out. Might, might have been down in here. Yeah. So. Uh, original MSX2, MSX2+, Plus, and MSX Turbo R. tape drive. So what is your reason not to use it as your setting? I can't believe I used up three Maddox and that door went nowhere. That was weird. Or you have to switch to something else if you want to play a tape. I see. And I guess you use blue MSX? Is that your favorite emulator for it? I tried that a while ago, but... Okay, there's nothing in this castle. Okay, so I just neglected to write down that I'd been here. So... I guess I'll call that a reset. Hmm. Well, I used Blue MSX a while ago, um, before I knew about Open MSX, and it worked, but it, um, I don't know, it had a very, like, fancy UI, which feels nice at first, but the, the way that it's not, like, native, um, I don't know, Just it just means like, it's like learning to use a whole new machine, which is kind of cool, but also, I don't know. But, like, once I discovered OpenMSX, it sets up really easily, seems to work quite well, has some good settings on it. Um, so I don't think I'd want to go back, but I don't know. I try to go with whatever, like, the the well-maintained and up-to-date one is, and I think Blue MSX seemed like it was getting old and 
a little bit neglected, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong about that. So, I want to get down there. But I don't know how. So, this loop doesn't seem to include that space. Which makes me wonder... Um, what if I enter this loop from this side? Will that change the situation? Guess not. So... Hmm. I think what I did before was enter from up here or something. It's weird that it's easier to get, like, like that than it is to get across there. Like, one's just sort of random. Let's fight these cave fishers. Are they dropping? That looks like random gold, so they're gonna give me something. Don't know what. Wow, I'm under 10,000 food. I had 20,000 food at the start of this stream, I think. I don't want to fight you yet. I want to open some chests before I start eating food. It's weird, the, like... Brown potion. Um... Okay, I have gotten that from Cave Fishers before. It had a libretto core. Ah. Oh, this isn't the teleport uh, passage. It felt like it, but it wasn't. the top tower. Surprised this isn't the teleport passage. How the hell do I get out of here? Okay, let's try this one. Please just let me out of this cave. Wait, I don't even want to go this way. I'm wasting so much time, I need to go back to level one. Oh, Marat Faisulan made a, an MSX core as well. I'm only familiar with Ines, and it's not... It's not really... an emulator that's well used, but... It was, it was pretty substantial when it came out, but... looking at my experience levels. 
probably don't have enough for another level, but... Um... Do I want to head back to town just to see if I'm ready for another level, maybe? Because it could be. Where's the shaft? This isn't the shaft. My memory of even the first level is deteriorating now. Here we are. I think Marat Faisalin wrote the the 6502 core that I'm using in um, NSF Play, my NES sound emulator. Um, but I I modified it to kind of add some missing illegal opcodes and stuff. Oh. Okay. Now a theurgist. And now my fighter level is blue. Okay. So I was at 62,000 when I reached that. And I got CST. What is that there? Okay. Let's get the sword. I don't know. Um, what are my stats here? 45, 60, 60. Let's put one in intelligence and one in charisma. Um, I'd say there's still a real glut of NES emulators, maybe more so than ever. It's a really um, popular kind of like hobby project. Um, it seems like every week somebody starts a new one on the NES dev forums. Is this the way? This is the way. Okay, so I have food, I have keys. Um... And I'm going to level four. Oh, these guys cast Needle. That's funny. But, because of the way they move, they drag the needle kind of close to their body. So it's funny, enemies that just face you and don't wiggle around, their spells tend to come at you. Because their magic control works the same way as yours does, meaning like, it's tied to your motion. If you're holding the button, I guess. Which I guess there. I don't know. Maybe it's not exactly the same as it is for me, but... What do we got? Lamp. Okay, I think I've gotten a lamp from them before. Monodrome, lamp. Yes. Um, okay, so we wanted to head in here, because we haven't really... Uh, 
checked out this area yet. Because it requires keys, and we had very few. Okay, these do a lot of damage. Drop a demon's ring. So what was that enemy called? Um... I'll just put wasp. Okay, so I'll need a key to get back. That battle was... Um, okay, I want to equip my Dagmitter. So I need a lot of keys to get through here. I like I was just skipping over one of the Liliths. I guess it's currently invisible. So was there a glove in here that I destroyed? Is that what happened? So their spells are doing a lot of damage. Oh, I could have just used magic. Would have saved me a few thousand hit points. Um, I'm gonna have my thunder level. Let's look at my levels here. 211 on my battle axe already. Thunder's at 124. Deluge, look at that, 246. Too bad it's obsolete now. So every the every one of these is a two key door. So what did I find in here? We found a glove, a rod, demon's ring. Well, I guess I'm going to get another shot at this one. Oops. So I just picked up car 12 karma. Because I didn't have gold when I... Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Right control counts as a key press here. But left control doesn't. <laughs> so I need to two-hand my control alt F9 reset key binding that I made. Um, okay. So, um, yeah.
So this tower is questionable. I might actually abandon it. Oh, the enemy's just called Hornet. So I said Wasp. It was actually Hornet. So, before I step into that room, I need... Um, Deg... Digmitter. them from a distance before they get in here. Right, it drops a demon's ring. Um... Okay, what's the next room? Yoichi's? Lilith. So is that ring going to block the spell? And if I leave one behind, I get a mirror. Which might be worth it. I don't really know what mirror does. Ouch. Free demon's ring. So these yoke holes, it seemed, are going to just drop gold, so. I could just magic them. No fear of waste. Ow. So the gold is really nice, but the amount of keys I need to replace kind of offsets it by a tremendous amount. If ever playing a tape in OpenMSX, turn the volume down. Hmm. There should be an option for that, but I don't know. All right, the Ustiligator. Ustiligor? Ustiligor. Is that a DD and d enemy? It looks like a DD and d enemy. I don't know what they drop yet. Okay, so I gotta remember there's a poison here. Okay, so this tower is definitely not worth going through. 
Too many keys, not enough game. The, ex the magic glove is kind of cool. I guess we would have got something from the yokel. It just takes too many keys to get out. So... Um... Mid tower. I've ruled it out as costing too many keys. So... I don't think I even have enough keys to get out of here. Like, it's two keys for every room. And I think there's about seven rooms or so. I might have just enough to get out. Wow. Okay, and replacing those 10 keys would cost me like 10,000 gold now. So, very much not worth it. So if I had to do this on PC-88, like the reset sequence is much slower. Um, partly because it's loading from like a disk image. Okay, so we found a tower there. Right, there's all these like doors we can open with keys. I don't know where they go. So is that a shop? That looks like another castle. Okay, so that's gonna cost me two keys to get into. guys tend to drop a ton of food. Okay. It's funny, like, you get a group of nine enemies that are allowed to cast area... Damaging things. And they're just like constantly casting it. Okay. At least we have a way to go that doesn't involve using a key off the bat there. I guess I spoke too soon on that. Oh, they're doing a ton of damage. I'm dead. So, I've committed to those two keys now. Um, what do we find? Food. So, I can just go in here and they mitter them down. I think that's the easiest way. I'll take the food, then I'll walk out to, s to save. The other thing about the PC-88 version is that you don't get a free save when you enter towers, only when you cross between floors. Um, so every reload would be a more... On one hand, I wouldn't lock in decisions so often, but on the other hand, I would have to do more every time I reload.
Okay, so. Um. Could try going left first. See what we get here. So that's a, a name of a Spectrum emulator. Uh, which one's lower right now? Degmitter, okay. So, wasps. Hornets. Hornets, not wasps. What do we drop? It's poison. <laughs> it's poison, of course it is. Um... line of these guys. Okay, so they would have dropped something. Who knows what. I gotta remember, I'm gonna need two keys to get out. Okay, this poison's gonna be a huge drop. Um, Cause I'm at like 50,000 health here. Okay, so we got poison, we got rod, two rods, I think we got a glove, demon ring. Hourglass. So I don't know what an hourglass does. So my great fear is that I'll be walking into a dungeon like this where I feel like it's supposed to be a throwaway. Like, my plan was just to... Um... Okay, they're just giving me food. Like, my plan was just to do some recon and figure out what's in here. Okay, so... Items, I don't know what they do. What does this do? Agility up for 20 time. Okay. Um, this is wisdom up? No, intelligence up. Bottle. Charisma up. That could be really useful when buying keys. Um, 
Ruby, Candle, we know what that does. Pendant, Balance, Demon's Ring, Mantle. Wow, we actually know what every item does now. That's amazing. Well, except for Hourglass. Negate Time. Oh! My food's still going now, isn't it? Huh. Negate Time. Okay, so that's... That's amazing, though. Now I know what every single item does. I gotta... Let's, let's just go through this for a moment. Spectacles gives you stats on the enemy. Red Potion heals you. Lamp lights up a tower. Black Onyx takes you down one floor. Fire Crystal brings you up one floor. Uh, Matic breaks a block. You can hold down to break the block directly underneath you. Otherwise, it goes diagonal. Winged Boots lets you fly. Looks like I wasted my winged boots. Mantle lets you pass through a wall. Uh, Demon's Ring. Enemies won't damage you. Temporarily. Balance. Opens all treasure chests in the room. Pendant. Opens a door. Uh, it might open all doors in the room. I'm not sure. But out in the field it opens a single door, which is kind of annoying. I wanted it to do more. Uh, candle. Enemies don't damage you, but you don't damage them. You dress up as a skeleton, briefly. Ruby is strength up. Brown potion is intelligence up. Mirror is agility up. Bottle is charisma up. I think you've got bottle and mirror mixed up. <laughs> Maybe. What's in the bottle? You'd think mirror would be good for upping your charisma. And I don't know what would be in bottle for, but okay. So mirror is agility, bottle is charisma. And that's all the items. I finally know what they all do. And I have some of all of them, um, except I don't have wing boots anymore. That's okay. I gotta use spectacles on an enemy that I know is a good enemy. I haven't found any karma dealing enemies on this floor. Okay, so... This is a reset. So I was, I was worried I would walk into a boss room and it would lock in all the, like, throwaway scouting stuff I was doing. Like, I, not opening the doors on my way back and that kind of thing. Um, okay, so how many more castles are on this floor? just dropping food here. So when you get a number like 250 food, it means they're all going to be 250 food, even the red chest. That's what I've noticed. Um, like if it's a round, if it's a large round number of food or gold, they're all gonna be that. I kind of wish this wasn't so effective, but I don't know what else to do. I gotta do the effective thing. <laughs> So if I really wanted to be more optimal, so I got a lamp from a cockatrice. Yep, that's that's in my notes. Okay. 
What else have we got here? Uh, okay, so there's definitely a castle up there. How to get to it. If there's a boss in here, it's definitely gonna be up there. Um... So these enemies do massive melee damage. Did I get poison from one of them once? Is that what they dropped once? I don't even remember. So what I want in this case is for like one of them's hit points to kind of stick out so I can... Just like... kill off one with my fighter powers, but... See there, I took 1500 damage from it. Okay, so is it gonna be poison? It's poison. At this point in time, it is not worth drinking that poison. Uh, see, what's going on here? There's like a spiral in the middle of the level? Where does this go? Oh, nowhere. Of course. Why would it go somewhere? Okay, this is the one I unlocked. Um, which I wish I hadn't. So, if I was given an opportunity to do this again, like, I would just skip unlocking that. Okay, so there's a door there. One hit cockatrice. What do we got? Is it gonna be another... it's a ruby. Yeah, I've gotten that before. Okay. Um, it looks like it's several keys to get into this. Okay, so here's the way in. Where does that go? Just a door. Oh! So that's how I got to level 5, but I think I probably need to get to that castle up there. Okay, so we're gonna... Giant Strider. Ooh, I like the sound of that. The only problem is, how do I get out of here? I didn't want to come here. And it's saved. Okay, so the random gold is pretty high. That's kind of nice. So I need a new page. Giant Strider. What do you drop? Lamps. No karma. Soften them up with the dag. I should switch to. Oh, it's poison. That's okay. My hit points were low anyway, but I have no way to get out of here. This is the problem. This is the problem. I'm 
Unless there's like a teleport path in here somewhere, like... This seems the most cruel to me. So this means I'm stuck on this floor for now. Until I find a way back. Okay, so where does this go? Can't get over that. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Um... How do I get up there? <laughs> There's my door. <laughs> I don't get there. Oh, this game's so mean. <laughs> Look at this. Wow, look at this. Mistu. Okay, they're doing a fair bit of damage. It's poison. Just what I wanted. Of course, we're gonna need a billion keys, probably. Not susceptible to my magic. They're just dropping food. Didn't take a karma hit there, but I'm gonna reset anyway, because it's a big gold hit instead. So. I'm stuck on this floor. Seems there's a way down there. One, two, three, four. What is this? Next to the snowman. Aikai... Aikai Arai. Hmm. Or Achai Arai? I don't know. Is it possible? <gasps> I know what I could do. Let 
Let me jump on one of you. Come back, please. Oh, I was on it for a moment. Amazing if this works. Why won't they let me jump? I have to release up to be able to... If I trap the timing in the top of the jump... Wow, there's an... Oh, come on. Just, just come back, monsters. Where are you? so mean because I was just approaching a wall and it teleported me into the pit. to react fast enough. Seems if I'm standing directly on them, I can't can't do the thing. I need to be like battling to the side or something. I don't know. See if this works. <laughs> Did that work? No. That doesn't use up a matic, right? It says no response. It says I have five. That's what I needed to do. Okay, so.
Hmm. Okay. I <laughs> have a way out. So I have six Maddox, technically, because one is equipped. Actually, it would even be better to break a higher one. Yeah. That's all I needed to do. That's... that's amazing. I like that. <laughs> it's weird. Okay. Into the cave. Where does this go? Thank you, that's the way back. Okay. I think I want to have thunder on... Oh, where's that cockatrice? These enemies are... I've had good. We're getting 16 gold, so this is item drop. I've dropped mirrors before. Um, so I've dropped poison, a key, a red potion, and a mirror. So what I wanted to do was use my keys to get into the castle up here. That one up there. So I was sort of making progress toward that goal. Okay, I went up here. Is this possible? I don't think so. Or is it? No, I think it, it counts as like sort of the overextended upward jump when you hit the third spot, so... Okay. Not up here, but the other way around? There it is. And, okay, and that way... Let's see how many keys this costs. One key. Two key. Okay, we made it.
Okay. So we have six keys left. We're in pretty good standing. Um, karma's at zero. It's poison. <laughs> uh. Um, I'll be back in a moment. And then we'll reset and investigate this. You know, I probably should have walked in there a bit more just to investigate before I reset. So. So I'm going to leave that poison there, then I'm going to leave. Treasure you don't pick up stays on the ground. That's cool. I didn't think that happened. So if you leave, if you run from the battle, you lose all your treasure on the ground. But otherwise... It stays. Interesting. So, lights on. Leave that by the door. Oh no. Okay, so... These I want to use Dagmitter on. And they're just going to leave food. All right. So that's a good food haul. Actually, it's not really. <laughs> uh, well, it's, it, it's, I guess it's probably better than nothing. Okay, so the spell's still good. Oh, I forgot. This spell isn't very good on monodromes. How much is that red ball gonna hit me for when it finally hits? Is that a deluge? Maybe it's a fire. 
So we got glove, candle, how's our battle axe? It's at 224. I don't know if they drop something else besides poison. So actually, I'm going to take a moment um, to look at Xanadu's Monster Manual. I haven't shown this before. This the part of this appeared in the translation that I had. So I've seen some of these. I notice assassin bag it says assassin bug there. So I wonder how much information is actually available here. Holders. Berserker. Olisk. Whoa, look at that guy. I remember this one from Faxanadu. They all have names. Camazots. Cave Fisher. Oh, this is neat. Well, that's... I don't know what Berserker wants. Other than that. Um, Garbug. Garbug. So there's like notes on all the monsters. I don't know if it tells you what they drop. I don't see any... Usually the drops would be written in English, I think. There's Lilith. Lizard Man. This is neat. Um, so, is Kraken in here? There's Kraken. So, I'd be curious to know how much information you get from this. Poison, corrosion. Hmm. Needle, Mitar so they do list the spells that they cast in here. Yokel. Or at least they list some of the spells that they cast. Hi there, Toxics. Doing all right. Um, just perusing the manual. <laughs> so this had yeah, some information. I think this is missing a lot of the... Well, it's got six... pages. I, I do think it's missing a bunch. Oh, check this out. Okay, it starts with A. B, C, D, F, G. They got tired of translating at G and just gave up and now it says Firebird and there's this weird uh, <laughs> weird poem Gao you have to defeat the devil and get the holy stick of wood to pass the gate of heaven Gao you need a holy stick of wood as same as the name of the gate you want to pass now go ahead Gao 
if you have the said holy stick of wood, go and turn around the corner of the swamp to the left at the head of this way. Now, there's like a shadow in the scan. See, these look like... See, there was like a fish there. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so look at this enemy here. It looks like, like it, this faded thing here. It looks like some sort of fish. Um, oops. So that doesn't seem to be a duplicate of anything already in here, right? And in the, this is, this is the monster manual that came with the game far as I know, but I don't, I didn't see that fish in here. Copper dragon. I don't see it. I don't see that. So what is that? What are these shadows? That, maybe it's from like Dragon Slayer scenario too. I don't know. I could have done that as well. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> gloom wing. I've seen gloom wings, but it's weird that it just like cuts off there. Well, anyhow. Was that not the Brontosaurus? Is there a Brontosaurus? Oh, this like pipe drake or fire drake? Is that the fire? Oh, it's the upside down fire drake. You're right. Okay, now that explains it. So that's upside down. So yeah, actually you can see it right on top of it. They're one page apart. Okay, so this isn't showing me anything extra, I guess. I like how there's some sort of, dr like, R2-D2-CZ-812-CE. Hmm. Well, okay. So there's clearly more information in the Japanese monster manual, but I don't know if it's useful information. So let's just investigate this tower a bit more. These Eustilagors are the ones I'm... One of the ones I'm more afraid of. They don't do much damage from afar, but they do it continually. Much like I'm doing back to them. But up close, they do like a thousand damage in a hit. So I feel like I'm missing out on a good drop from them. But the only time I did manage to get a drop from them, it was poison, so... I don't know, but it seems that the enemies that drop poison don't always drop poison. Those I should have... they might have dropped a key. Oh, 
Oh, I want to switch spells, but I don't think I can. So these enemies are screamers, or shriekers. And they drop food. They drop a lot of food. Okay, that's great. So I don't need to be on the left here. Um, and this room should be full of shriekers as well. Oh, wait, no, it's... Yokels. Yokels? I don't know. I've been saying yokel. Spectacles. Okay. Hmm. So I don't need to go to that door on the left at the bottom there. But I like that the Shriekers drop food, because it reminds me of the Screamers in uh, Dungeon Master, which were in turn, like, based on a... Um, a Dungeons and Dragons enemy. So I, I'd assume the same from these. Oh wait, so I just picked up two keys. Okay, there's more you still yours. Yeah, they could be the food. Um, Red potion. See, that was great. Those are great to get. Um, so what do we have down here? Okay, so that was another door I didn't need to open, which is good. Okay, now they're trapped behind a wall here. Usually they drop candles, yeah. Should just be the way back. Should I should I verify that? Yeah. Okay, so I haven't seen down there. I have seen to the right there, so I, I just gotta mentally keep track of the, all the doors I shouldn't open. Uh, I think I can go to the up here, but I should go up above. That was Eustiligor's. So this was just a dead end, with a balance. Okay. So... Um... I guess Stegmitter is the safest thing here. I'll play it safe, because there's so many of them. And they're so close, too. 735. 
this dropped poison, I'm gonna be... Twenty thousand food <laughs> versus okay, I'll just take the poison. I wanna check if my weapon isn't maxed out yet. Two forty five. Um let's try thunder on these. So in Dungeon Master, the Screamers are the food. Uh, in this game, the Shriekers are dropping something. Okay, how many keys do I have? I have seven keys. They're dropping treasure chests full of the food, so... I don't know. So it looks like I used a key to get in. I might not need to use the key to get out. Hang on, I think this is the second room. Like this should be the entrance down below? Yeah, okay. So it does wrap around. So the rooms wrap around, I think, in the same way. Hmm. I had choices there, right? I could go up. So wait, it was here that wrapped around? Right, okay, so we're already... So I don't know if I need that up... door. It's a little confusing. So I've definitely tried to the right here. Have I tried down? No, this goes back to the this goes back to the start. So that door there might be somewhere I need to go. Except if I go here. left twice, that'll be in the same room. So this should be something new. Okay. Down would come out that door, so now I don't need to check that door anymore. How many keys have I got? Five keys. So 
hoping to find a boss in here. Oh, I haven't been up. There's one more up. Just over here? No. I have been there. That was where we came around. So there's nothing in here. So we got some good gold, we got some good food, but it costs so many keys. See, I don't know if I want to save this progress. <laughs> Like, I was hoping for a new weapon, that'd be cool. So, I think I'm actually going to reset and abandon. None of the towers on floor four had anything good in them. They were all a drain on my keys. I had to lose four keys just to try them out, but... I guess it was worth knowing. So I don't know if there's anything special up there at the top. Okay, there's, there's a food place. So this is the <laughs> door down to the fifth level. Um, That's a nice haul of gold. Okay, so I've still got six keys here. Um, make sure I'm not getting karma. So what did I find out here? I should I should fight more of these because they're. not drop gold, or not huge gold like, like the last ones, but do a lot of damage, but I've got a lot of hit points now. Key! That's nice. Very nice. So I can get through there. Oh no, I'm st Wow, I like... I... Look at that pre-broken block up there. That's, that's like what a block looks like when you hit it with the mattock. So I'm wondering about these blue doors. I'm kind of wondering if, if you get enough crowns, maybe you can enter them. Maybe those will be the teleports. Um, for now, I think I want another reset. So, level 4 seems complete. Level 5, it's 
seemed like there was no boss on level four. Um, and I have a way back now. Giant striders are really good. To fight. At least those ones are. Actually, these ones dropped a key, too. I need to up my dexterity even. Like the treasure chests are getting heavier. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if that's a thing this game does, but I wouldn't put it past it. Okay, now I can get across here. got some Maddox, but this is really cruel. I can use a Maddox to get out of here, but I have to use a Maddox. I think there are a bunch of Maddox on this floor, though. Not gonna I'm gonna try and avoid using it. <laughs> Maybe this is a good place to stop. So I've gotten to floor five. I seem to be properly equipped for it. I'm a little bit low on food. Could go back for food. I've got a bunch of gold. Oh no, I have to fight those striders. I'll fight the striders first, and then I'll lock in. I'll go and save. That's the fourth strider from this group. Um, so we'll do this, which will get us a save. goes up. I don't want to fight anything right now. 
little bit blocked in right now. I love these snowmen. They look funny. They do a ton of damage. Okay, there's the way to the next floor. Let's just investigate this for a little bit. This is a long ladder. This is very different than any previous floor. So you definitely need to learn this technique. What is that? Store roper. They're doing a ton of damage to me. Um... Not susceptible to deluge. Degmitter? You can degmitter them. Okay, so this is like... Seem to drop a lot of gold, which is great. Um, what is this over here? Okay, that looks like a castle. Degmitter's a good spell on him. I think they're always going to drop gold, which is also amazing, because this is like... thousand like 500 gold times six of them something like that three thousand are they giving me karma no no karma okay so there's I can't go in there because I don't want to save That's really interesting. So one way, only the middle one goes down. But I got here from the other side. So that's interesting. So given that there'd be like four of them, I'm sitting on, or eight of them really, I'm sitting on like 40,000 in gold here, I can buy, so I can afford a new spell, a new armor, maybe a new weapon. Maybe some keys. Oh no. These ones are not dropping gold, so they would have dropped something else. Okay, so it isn't quite the gold bonanza that it seemed. Uh, I want to come out this side so that I can... do this. 
Okay, so there's a nice shop up there. How to get there. Down, down, down. What's the... Can we use a mattock to the side? One touch. Oh, I cannot go through that door. It would lock in the gold loss. Hmm. Okay, I think I think that's enough uh, investigation of floor five for tonight. And I'll pick up there maybe tomorrow. So that was interesting. Floor four basically didn't have anything useful on it. I should have, in retrospect, I could have saved like four keys by just skipping all the towers. Because they didn't have anything great in any of them. It's kind of weird. And I could have saved like three more mattocks by not going in that one door that came out in a bizarre place in level three. But that does tell me that the doors always go down a level or up a level. They, I don't think they ever skip one. At least that seems the way. So that's good. Good progress. 